if you want to know what we have uh, fired up on the Traeger grill, uh, the uh, the official description is, I think it's a muffaletta pinwheel steak with bal- a, a balsamic reduction. But that will be for Todd and myself because Paulie is not here and Seton and McLovin are not here. And there's like seven or eight of them, at least, waiting to be put on the grill for uh, very few people. Yep. Uh, and it's crisp here. We're going to have a fire. I got three Traegers fired up here. Oh, it's great to be here in the man cave. Yes, Paulie. But Dan, what if I said you have to eat that lovely lunch, but you have to sit there for an hour with Todd at a table by oh, yourself just conversating? That kind of ruins it a little bit for you. Well, you're going to get it to go, I think. If my mouth is full, <laughs> I don't have to say anything. Just put it in a bag and take it back to the house and kick back, go down to the basement, put whatever you want to watch on a movie, Netflix, and then you don't have to deal with me and my annoying questions. No, because I am really, like, I came in this morning and my mindset was, Todd and I are really going to get to know each other. That lasted for about 20 seconds. Because I said to him, hey, Todd. And he goes, hey. And I said, what are you doing this weekend? And then he said nothing. And I asked you what you were doing this weekend. And then I said nothing. And then that was it. We were done. And I went, (laughs) I don't have anything else to talk to Todd about. Why is that? Is it because we've been working together so long? Or we're just very different? Or you just don't find me particularly interesting? I find I read into this now? No, no, no. No, I don't want you to do that. I mean, I I find you fascinating, but not... Somebody I want to have a conversation with. Wow. <laughs> that sounds terrible. No, but I, I look. I love you, but I, I don't like you. I don't know what to make of that. That just seems very hurtful. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's 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 on a Friday. Oh, oh, Wait, but oh I gave you the God. love. I gave you the love. I don't like you. I mean, uh, that's gonna well, that, that's I, gonna I, simmer for a couple of days. I don't like. <laughs> a weekend's like, officially over. I might as well just sit here in this chair until Monday morning, based I, on that comment. I, I just. I'm not going home. I'm just gonna stay here. Uh, you know, I'll miss the wife and kids, but I'm gonna have to just sit here and deal with that till Monday at about seven a.m. All right. Well, then there's no reason for me to try to do describe why I said that. I would like to know. No, I no, guess. nah, don't. Worry I about love it. you, but I don't Todd, like you. Don't. Todd, I lo- I love you. But I don't like you. <laughs> well, I, I can't do small talk it's with like you. It's like that kid that you're upset with. Like, it's one of, you, one of your kids. Like, I love you. You're my kid. But, you know, the way you've been behaving lately, I'm just not liking being around okay. you. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah, that happens. Right. That happens with my uh, I'm my experiencing son. that with my son, like, now, since he's back from yeah, college. Yeah, get used to it. Yeah. It's... I, I love him, but, like, this, he's, I don't know, he's picked up a couple of bad habits, and he's got a little bit of a attitude that I could do without. Yeah, okay. So now you understand. All right. You love your son, but at times you don't like him. All right. I guess I can deal with that. Yeah, that's all. You know what happened the first time I came home from uh, college? I, I, uh, <laughs> I went to West Virginia in August, and I came back for Christmas, and I stayed for a week. And when my dad dropped me off, there was a, a, a kid on campus who was giving me a ride back from New Jersey back to Morgantown. And when my dad dropped me off, the last things he said to me was, this is the worst week of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sent me back to Morgan. <laughs> Patrick, yeah, this was the worst week of my life. See you later. Yeah, Paulie. But Dan, I think you know about this at the home. You know, your wife threw a, a frying pan at one of your children. And, and I think uh, one of the no, 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 college, it no, wasn't no, my wasn't... mom. My mom oh. hit my brother with a frying pan. My Good wife age. threw eggs at my son. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Bounced three of them off his forehead. <laughs> Still one of the, it's, it's one of the great moments in parental history. He was there whining. We had three daughters, and my wife's trying to get breakfast on the table, and he wanted some special eggs. And she said, oh, here are your eggs. Boom, off the forehead. Boom, off the forehead. And another one off the forehead. Yes, Don. At what point is it okay for a kid to reach out to law enforcement where they really feel like, <laughs> I'm getting hit with a pan here? Like, you know, there's you know, there's abuse, that, you know, with couples, there's abuse of kids, too. You know, when belts and things come out. When is, yeah, but that was different. That was a different time. You know, that's back in the 60s when... The good old days. Yeah, when you could get away <laughs> with that. My mom would let us pick out the switch from the tree that we were going to get spanked with. I mean, imagine that your corporal punishment, and then you'd have to go outside and then there was a tree. And then my mom would say, pick the one, pick the switch. And you're like, I don't know which one is going to hurt less, but I'd grab one and it didn't matter. Yeah. Seton. I was going to say that, uh, just to, uh, 
uh, defend my father for a minute. It's because I, he said that because I made life completely miserable for him for that one week. Oh, we, we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's on me for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, I understand what your dad was yeah. probably uh, thinking. Just or to going clarify. To. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it may have been justified. Yeah. But McLovin was never like this. He uh, had an idyllic silver spoon in his mouth, the, the uh, suburbs of Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, well, like, wait, where did Seton grow up? I don't think you were. The, we were all in the suburbs, weren't we? Anybody grow up in the city here? Or Paulie might have. Um, just for my, just till I was about five, I was in Chicago, Chicago. All righty. Uh, what's the poll question today, McLevin? Yes. But I had one comment. Did Todd really think that that you liked him, by the way? Because that would be like crazy. I was misinformed. I, I, he put on a good <laughs> act for, for almost 20 what? years. What? Really there isn't a single that. listener of the Dan Patrick show who is surprised by that. But anyway, to the poll, most likely <laughs> upset of this week. No, but uh, every time I do this, then people are like, you're so hard on Fritzy. And rightfully so. They should get in on that. No, 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 they media. should. No, they should. <laughs> no. If, if, if they knew the backstory, all the conversations and everything that we've talked about, that, yeah. you know, I... I'm 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 here for Todd. I'll are, always be here for you Todd. You are a therapist as much as anything else. Yes, and I didn't sign up for that. Did not. But I'm willing to do that. Yes. Still getting the meds right. We'll figure it out. <laughs> See, <laughs> this actually all makes perfect sense though, because not only uh, are we most of us on remote, and you're stuck in the studio alone with Todd. Yeah. Um, but it's also this time of year that these kinds of conversations usually happen. Usually pre Christmas break. This is where we start diving deep into the uh, psyche of each other and be like, well, you do this wrong or I can't stand you, blah, blah, blah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't had many days off and we've been together with the pandemic. Uh, so I, I think after a while, I mean, it's like a band, you know, when you're together and you're doing everything together and you're with each other for six, seven hours a day, at some point you're going to get, you know, Tired of dealing with things, small things. Small things become larger things. So we're getting these parting shots out in the final weeks of December before the break. No, but I, once again, I love you. I just don't always like you. That's all. Okay. I wish you the best. I just don't want you around when things are going well for you. No, when, when things are going well, I love Todd being around. But there are just times when I would say, hi, maintenance. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> like that would that would be probably my best description yeah, you of have, you. You have some issues with me, and uh, which I can't. I don't really have a good retort back. Well, to some what of happens those. is that we've had these discussions, and then you repeat the same things that we're trying to fix. You're talking about on the air or just lifestyle or all of it? All of it. All of it. Oh. Whole ball of wax. Like all I said to you is, I want you healthy. That was so important to me. I want you healthy. And then and I, I say, said, I wonder if I should have two or three muffalettas. At, uh, well, no, because I'll say, I want you to walk three miles a day. I have been doing a lot and of drink I know, but you'll say, well, I haven't been doing as much. Like, you always do that. And then I'm going, this isn't for me, it's for you. And then I get frustrated with that because I want you healthy. And what happens is you go, if you walk enough, you develop an appetite, and then you have like a big sub, and like it really kind of no, no, cancels out the walk a little bit. <laughs> it's like I, I just had like seven slices of pizza because I walked three miles, I'm hungry. <laughs> I do appreciate you, even though you don't like me that much. So you appreciate me. I, I, I love you. Right. I, no, you, I love you, you too, but like you don't me. like me, and I'm, it's still ringing in my ear, the, the not liking me part, even though you have every right to not like me. It's, it's just gonna, times. It's, once again, it's you just said you love your son, but you don't like him sometimes. Right. You're like a son to me. I think he's got one foot out the door already. He's only been home like a week and a half, and he's counting the days, and he's going to be home till like late January. And I just get the impression that, like, he's outgrown his family and wants to be back at school with his boys. Uh, I, I was, he finally just got a couple months break from you, Todd. And now he's thrown back in. <laughs> he's terrible. alone in the studio with you, too. And he's like, damn, I got to get the hell out of here. This is what happens. <laughs> it's not healthy for anybody.